What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about how it looks like if there is a Hogwarts Legacy 2, it's going to be made on Unreal Engine 5. This came from Hogwarts Legacy News on Twitter, and the link is to unrealengine.com. They did an interview with the developers, a couple different ones, of Avalanche Software, and it's actually a pretty good read. If you guys are interested in some kind of like nitty-gritty things, they talk about the broom flying and some tricks that they did to make it feel faster for us the players than like it actually was for the game we're not actually going that fast but they kind of trick us into thinking it it's a pretty good read altogether but it's really towards the end they start to talk specifically about unreal engine you know how did you use it to do this or that in the game and at the very end they talk about does the team have any thoughts about unreal engine 5 and the new features and the answer at least the second paragraph of the answer is we are looking forward to unreal engine 5 for future projects knowing that we have a great foundation in place already we integrated the two of the great pillars in unreal engine 5 already the niagara vfx systems and chaos physics and they had talked about that earlier in the article but we are looking forward to new developments across platform technologies remote work improvements rendering technologies virtual production tools for cinematics and character development among others and like i said they went into a little bit more detail of those two systems that they already did in the first hogwarts legacy game so look we don't know specifically hogwarts legacy 2 right we're kind of going based off of what they had said in the past. Obviously, they're going to make another Wizarding World game. They've talked about WB, like in general, has talked about Hogwarts Legacy being a franchise. So it could be a Hogwarts Legacy 2 and be set, you know, two, three, four hundred years earlier. It could be set afterwards. It could be a direct sequel to the game. But I do think you're going to get, in some form or some version, a Hogwarts Legacy 2. And when that happens, you're going to get Unreal Engine 5. Is it all that surprising? Not really. I think a lot of games you're seeing, like, I believe the Iron Man game, when it got announced, they immediately say, hey, it's going to be an Unreal, or at least maybe a job posting for it, said it's Unreal Engine 5. A lot of games are making that jump. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. I don't know too much about engines, but I've seen some videos and obviously you hear like talk uh, the gaming industry unreal engine's very very good people really like to use it it's one of the faster ones you know kind of out there so i'm excited to see what they can do in unreal engine 5 let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on if you want to support me anywhere else all my links to my other youtube channels my twitter my discord all in the description below thank you for watching and i hope to see you all on the next one